the voluntary partnership agreements um, are now being put in place. There are six which are in place already and seven which are still being negotiated. And in those countries um, you have uh, the situation that the timber that comes from those countries and is exported to other parts of the world is timber that um, everybody can be confident is being, is being uh, felled and exported legally. I think that um, implementation, of course, is always the, uh, the weak area in these things and it's important to remain vigilant. It's excellent that there are being independent reports done on, on how well the process is working in different countries. Um, we've heard from the Commissioner just now that the Commissioner is organising workshops in some places and really that um, has to be um, the most important um, priority moving forward that when there is um, a voluntary partnership agreement signed that the measures to implement that are, are taken very firmly and that a lot of effort is put into making sure that there are not loopholes and we've heard in the um, debate just now um, that uh, a number of countries have some concerns about the process being a little bit weaker than they, they hoped and that there is still work to be done and um, to make sure that um, the, the, the process is watertight. Um, but nevertheless, I do feel that it's been a huge step forward having um, the, the FLECT process and that um, it will help when the um, EU illegal uh, timber uh, legislation is implemented next year. Um, those companies who are importing timber into the EU, if they're importing it from countries where there is a voluntary partnership agreement, they will have the um, verification process that they need to be sure that they are importing um, legal timber. And it goes beyond that, because if a country has signed up to a voluntary partnership agreement, they're making a commitment that the timber that they export anywhere in the world is legally harvested and that means that um, it also protects the wider timber trade. We all know that, tim that China is importing a lot of timber and it's hugely important for um, the protection of the forest that the timber that is imported by third countries also comes um, from sources that are, are, are properly protected. Indeed, yes, and I have had discussions um, with members of parliament and also with local NGOs when I have been um, in, um, in visiting in, in, in other countries. And I think that that is, is the way forward to have a strengthening of the networks so that both at um, the level of civil society and also at the level of parliamentarians there is a full discussion about implementation um, to make sure that there are not, um, it, that there's not a continuation in some dark corner of the um, previous corrupt practices.